Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm here with a small shop haul to share with you all. Um, I have a lot of things to get through, um, but a few of these packages are actually from the end of January. So I had ordered them during New Year's Eve type of sales and they've just kind of been sitting. Uh, so I'm excited to get into them. Um, I also have gone into a couple of these packages to get items that I wanted to use during the month of January. So you will see that some of them are open. I've looked through some of them, but for the most part, I have not. So we have some pens, some trays, some putty, uh, lots of different things. So let's go ahead and get into it. I'm going to start with, let's start with these. So these two packages here are from Excuse Me Designs, uh, which is a putty shop, a diamond painting wax alternative. Um, they have kind of mixed up how they're doing um, their sales. They have a website now, they have subscription packs, all types of different things. So I have two orders from them. This first one I have been in because I used uh, one of these items in January. Let me move my address. All right. So we have a thank you card. I think this is new. Maybe this is only when you order on their website. I'm not really sure, but I've never gotten that before. Okay, so this is the sample size putty pack pre-order. So I ordered this on December 22nd um, and they started shipping on January 10th. So I've had them for quite a while. This is the 2.0 version and it's the fantasy theme putty pack. Now you can see that I have one of them out already. Uh, I love the putty from Excuse Me Designs. You also have a little shark, I think, a little shark squishy. I collect those for my nieces. <laughs> when they come over, they take them all. Um, and I was really interested in this one because of the Secret Wonderland scent. Um, January was the Alice in a Winter Wonderland event, so I thought it would be cool to have the putty to go along with that. This one also came with Angel's Whisper. Let me smell this one. Ooh, that smells really good. I have a really hard time explaining scents, so I apologize that I really don't have anything to go off of. I think it's not here, but they... One of the things I really do like about Excuse Me Designs is the owner lists all this, the fragrances, so you can kind of tell if it's something that you're going to like. There are a lot of other putty shops that don't do that, so I don't know. That's just one of the things that I do enjoy. This one is powered by Fairy Picks. What is it? Fairy Dust? This one smells very nice. quite like that. We have A Thousand Dreams. Ooh, I like that one too. Uh, Mermaids at Night. They all smell so good. And this one is <laughs> Alien Princess. That one actually smells good too. So that is that was the January sample size putty pack. I think I, I need to go on and order the February one. Um, or what's in here? Maybe this is the February one? I don't know. Let's find out. Let's find out together. Okay, let's see. This is the Valentine theme diamond painting putty pre-order. So I don't think this is the February sample pack. Oh, that one's cute. I think this is full size Valentine theme putty pack. Plus a bonus? I'm confused. What's happening? I do not feel prepared for this small shop haul. This is what happens when I let things sit too long. So we have another little thank you card. We have a little star. Okay, so are there seven or is this a sample? This looks like a sample. So this is Bippity Boppity Boo. Oh my gosh, that sound. Oh my, I almost said that sounds. No, this smells absolutely amazing. Uh, I don't know if, I'm assuming this is the 1.0. This must be a little freebie that was thrown in there, which is nice because these are full size. So this sample, or this pack was more expensive than the samplers. Um, 
So this is again 2.0. We have Red Hot Hearts, which smells exactly like red. If, you, if you've had Red Hot Hearts, it smells exactly like that. We have Strawberry Soda. Oh, wow. Okay. Endlessly in Love. Ooh, that smells good too. I think that might be a Bath and Body Works dupe. This one is Butt Naked. <laughs> Which actually smells delicious. Okay, I wasn't expecting that. We have Strawberry Champagne. Smells good. And Fresh Cut Roses. Now, ooh, I will not lie. <laughs> I was just about to say, florals aren't normally my favorite. This is quite strong. It's not bad, it's just quite strong. So maybe if you're sensitive to strong smells, that one wouldn't be the one for you. But I really do enjoy the putties from Excuse Me Designs. So I think I'm going to do the sample size subscription. I think it's like $16 a month. And um, this putty lasts me a very long time. I used Secret Wonderland on um, a kit that I worked on in January and it looks like I barely used any. So I think the sample size will suffice for me, but I believe she offers them in both sample size and a full size, if that appeals to you. So that is, excuse me, designs. So glad that she came back. There was a bit there where she wasn't really sure what was happening. So I'm glad to see that she's back and selling putty again. She also sells, um, diamond painting pens. I think she might have some cover minders. She has both an Etsy shop and a uh, website. So I'll link both of those down below. Let's take a look at this package. Yes, this is from Kevin's Creations. And I ordered this all the way back in December. This has been sitting for quite a while and I'm very excited to look at these two pens. It's been quite a bit since I've ordered from Kevin. Uh, here is his business card. The pens that they make are amazing. I have a few. Um, they also have cover minders and I think sometimes they have different types of things that can be turned, maybe regular pens. Um, but they were running a sale on New Year's Eve, I believe it was like something, it was like the countdown to New Year or something and there was a percentage off. For some reason, 23% off is sticking out of my head, but I don't know if that's correct or not. So I decided to pick up a couple of pens and one of them I have been looking at and I was like, no, I don't need it, I don't need it. And then with the sale, I was so surprised it was still there. So I snatched it up. So here is the first one. It's a really pretty blue, different shades of blue. It's super shimmery. Uh, I thought this would be a really pretty winter pen, but now that I'm thinking about it, do I have any more blue kits that I'll be working on this winter? I don't know, but I'm sure I will find, look at that. I'm sure I'll find a kit perfect for it. Super pretty and such a unique turning. I really enjoy that. And then the other pen, which I'm very excited. I already have plans to use this one in February. This is a hybrid, which if you've been around my channel, you may know that I absolutely adore hybrid pens, but here it is. So it's white and pink with that beautiful wood. It's not so pretty. I was really surprised that this one was still in the shop when I went to place my order. Um, I have plans. You will see this one again this month, but oh, so pretty. And I really love the turning on this one. It's a really, seems to be a really nice size. It's not super thin, but it's also not as thick as some of my other pens. So those are my pens from Kevin's Creations. Let's see if I can keep them from rolling all around. There we go. Okay, let's take a look at... Let's do this package. Now, this package, I was influenced by Brie from Painting with Pities. <laughs> I was in one of her lives and she had this new, like oblong tray that she was using to keep her pen and her tweezers and everything just in one spot. And she just had to go and link the shop in her comments, obviously, which meant I obviously had to go click it. <laughs> 
which then meant I placed an order. Um, I did, however, need to open this package because I got an email from the owner saying that she thought she sent me the wrong item. Um, she did, but it's okay. It was close enough to the one that I ordered that I wasn't going to be upset about it. Um, but this is from a shop called Bring the Happy Designs. And let's get into it. I was very excited because I actually got a little freebie which is a resin bookmark. How pretty is that? I love it. <laughs> it matches one of the trays that I got, which I actually got as a kind of like a trinket tray by my book area. So it's perfect that it matched that one. So we have a little bookmark, very excited. So here is that matching tray. Isn't that so pretty? Something about this like dark green with the gold foil, it just really interests me. <laughs> and I was like, well, I can put this on my shelves and I can put little things in it. So when I saw the coordinating bookmark, I was like, that's definitely where that one's going. And I really, this is really nice resin work. Uh, I don't see very many bubbles at all. And I like that these ones have little pads on the bottom. So it's not gonna slide all around. So there's the first one. I picked up three because I have no control. Here is the other one, which I have plans. I think this is going to be my diamond painting one that like sits on my drafting table where I put all of my accessories for whatever kit I'm working on. I just thought the white was neutral. It would go with a lot of my different accessories and all of that stuff, but isn't that so pretty? Oh, I love it so much. Now this one's a little bit more rough. You can kind of see on the sides there, but that's okay. I think it's still beautiful. And these were really reasonably priced in my opinion. I don't know much about resin work, but I feel like this is a, this was very reasonably priced for, for her time and effort. And then I have one more, which this is the one that was wrong. She sent me the wrong one. Um, but it's close enough to the one that I purchased that I thought it would be okay. Um, the one I ordered had a two-tone sky, so there was like a lighter kind of orangey glitter. Um, but that's okay. I thought this one was really unique. Um, she has a few that are similar to this, but I really liked it. Not quite sure if this will be in rotation with this one or not, or if it'll just kind of go on my nightstand maybe to hold my jewelry uh, overnight. But how cute really really nice and this one looks like it's done perfectly I don't see really any imperfections which is nice and again it has those little feet so this is bring the happy designs I will link their Etsy shop down below um, they did not have like traditional diamond painting trays um, but I think a lot of people use these type of trays to kind of hold accessories and I know some people use the resin trays to actually hold their drills. So again, I'll link them down below. Thanks a lot, Brie, <laughs> for uh, introducing me to this company and making me go purchase something. It's all your fault. <laughs> okay, uh, next up, I have a couple of orders from Randa. Uh, Randa has a putty shop. Uh, I guess not so much a putty shop, a diamond painting accessory shop, uh, which is called Randa's Crafty Corner. And I am a big fan. I have made many a purchase from Randa and I really enjoy her products. Um, I have two, per two different purchases. The first one I actually had opened because I'm using this warm log cabin on my current whip. This smells amazing. I am obsessed. Oh, it smells so good. I'm using this on Beauty and the Bear, which is the kit I'm working on right now. It just gave me like cabiny vibes. Um, a peach dum dum, which is my favorite. Fun fact: my favorite dum dum is the peach one. We have a little bread sticker, and then I picked up two cover minders. Randa just has really adorable minders. I don't always pick up one when I place an order, but this time I picked up two. Uh, the first one was this little snowman, which I realize now I don't know that I will get to using this year, but how stinking cute! And the second is this little kitty ice cream cone. Tell me why I love this so much. I don't know, I think it's so cute. 
And then I do have a second purchase, which I have not gotten into, so I do not remember what's in here. Come on. Okay, well, let us see. Come on. All right, another lollipop, a mystery one. It's very interesting. I will say that the packaging has changed quite a bit for Randa's shop. Um, things used to come in tissue paper and like the cover miners used to come wrapped up a little bit better. So it's interesting. I'm not quite sure what happened there. I do miss the little bit of the attention to detail with the, um, did I really order this one? Interesting. Okay. Um, I do kind of miss the attention to detail a little bit with the shipping packaging, but um, I, I really enjoy this style packaging of the Ziploc bags. I think Randa kind of originated that with the putty uh, and it works well in my opinion. But I have three putties here. This one is creamy banana, which doesn't sound, oh, it smells so good. Oh my gosh. I will say, Randa nails the scents for me almost every time. There have been a few that I've purchased that have been like, Ooh, but for the most part, I am down with her scents. This one is Pine Breeze. Oh, this smells, this is my favorite. <laughs> I love all of her like naturey scents. I don't know, she does them very well. And then we have Caramel Nut Muffin. This is the one that I was like, did I order that? Ooh, that smells quite good. It's it's strong. It is stronger than I'm used to uh, with Randa's Putty, but it smells very good. I don't normally go for foodie scents. I know I ordered banana, creamy banana, but I didn't realize I ordered caramel nut muffin, but it smells good. So that's all that really matters. Okay, so we have four putties and two minders from Randa's. Let's get into some trays. I have three orders here from Cat Proof Diamond Trays. Uh, if you are not familiar with Cat Proof, they are an Etsy shop. They're 3D printed trays and they release new colors every Wednesday. So if you head over to their shop, uh, when I link it down below and see that they don't have anything, um, I would check back on Wednesday. Uh, that is when they release, actually this video is going up on Wednesday, so they should have new products. Um, I did get into some of these boxes because I was looking to use one of the trays, but then I changed my mind. So some of them are not packaged, um, but one of them I haven't even touched. So you will see exactly how they come. Uh, so yes, Wednesdays are drop day for this shop. And there were a couple weeks in a row where they were releasing colors that I loved so much. So we have a little card, just says, thank you for your continued support. And we have some little cap stickers. Does this tell me the colors? Yes, okay. So well, let's get in here. Ooh. We have a little goodie bag. Here is the business card. We have another one of those little squishies. These seem to be quite popular. And then we have a little gummy bear. How cute is that? A little gummy bear minder. All right. So I picked up one of their, this is called the Fine Boy. And this is in pink. This is one of their standard stock colors. It wasn't one of their limited ones, but I thought in my mind that this tray would go quite well with this pen. And I think it matches pretty good. So you may see that combo this month. Um, I really enjoy these trays. I appreciate the lid. I don't often use it, but I do appreciate it. And I love this size because it is, it's quite big. It's very good. Um, sorry, my sister just texted me. She needs a new battery for her car. Um, it's like negative degrees out today, so not surprised. Uh, so that is the large size. And then we have special edition. So 
sorry, I'm reading the invoice. Okay, this is the special edition quantum blue green in their small size. So this is the kitten. This must have been the only size they had left in this color, but I was very intrigued. Uh, so it's a blue to green shift, which is very cool. And they include these little cat confettis in every tray, which I love. I haven't found a use for this really small size just yet. Um, in my one of my more recent kits, I used it to hold dryer sheet pieces because <laughs> the drills were very staticky. Um, but I would imagine that they'll be very nice to use when you're adding special drills into a kit. So definitely keep an eye out for it. My thoughts on that. Um, and then I picked up the medium size, which is the Lean Boy. And this is just in black. I realized I only had one other tray in black and I try not to use the same tray company one after the other after the other. I like to mix it up, share different trays with you guys and my thoughts. So I did want to pick one up in black. It's a good, a good neutral to have. And then the reason I think for this order was this colorway, which is the special edition translucent yellow. And this is again in the large size, which is the fine boy. One of my favorite colors is yellow. I'm always drawn to yellow when people release things in that color. And yeah, I think the only large yellow tray I have is from Bella Arte Nicole. So I wanted to have another one in my collection. And Cat Proof is quickly becoming one of my favorite tray companies. So those are the first four trays from them that I have to share. Let me put these out here need to try to make a thumbnail picture that will fit in my new <laughs> um, setup. I don't know if that will happen, but we'll try. Okay, here is the second order from them. Again, I think I was in this one. I was. So in this one, we have, oh my gosh, look at how cute this little minder is. We have another little squishy. And then this one says love. That is so cute. That would go really well with one of the paintings I'm looking to do in February. All right, invoice. I don't even know what I have here. So it looks like I have, okay, so I have a set and then I have two fine boy trays. So let's take a peek. Some more stickers. Oh my gosh, look at this sticker. <laughs> All right, so this one is the special edition uh, Nebula Blue. Ooh, wow, that's really pretty. Is that which one this is? Yeah, it must be. Okay, so this is the special edition Nebula Blue Sparkle, um, Blue Purple Sparkle in the Fine Boy. Look at that. That is so pretty. Wow. <laughs> I'm like, I'm shook. That's so pretty. I don't know. Hopefully you guys can see the color gradient. Wow, that's really pretty. I love that. And then this one is, ooh. Midnight Blue Teal Black Sparkle Translucent. This is another special edition. Wow, that's so pretty. Can you guys see the, it's kind of hard to pick the gradient up on the camera, but this is gorgeous. Ooh, when can I use this tray? I'm gonna have to find a kit. <laughs> and then I have a set, which in their sets you get three sizes. And this is the Fly Me to the Moon translucent set. So we have the fine boy. Can you guys see that? It's like white along the top. And then we have like different shades of blue. This will be really pretty in the summer with some like beachy themed kits. And then we have the lean boy, which is a continuation of the filament. So more white kind of like minty, very pretty. And then we have the kitten, which looks to be the same kind of color variant as that second one I showed you. So pretty. Now I will say, 
I'm not super impressed with the printing on this set. It kind of looks like the filament, I don't know, does the filament burn or something? But I don't know, can you guys see? So we've got something on the kitten size. This looks funky to me. And then there's some discoloration on this larger lid. So I'm not quite sure um, what went on there. I don't love that. You can see on the top, the front there as well. Um, so I don't know exactly what that is. I'm not very familiar with uh, 3D printing, but it looks like it's just on the tops. So it's not a deal breaker for me, but it's definitely something that I will be paying a little bit closer attention to um, the printing going forward because I don't know that I love that. Oh my gosh, I have so many trays here right now. Why did I do this? <laughs> I should have held on to a couple of these and unboxed them in another small shop haul. Okay, we have one more package from them. I love that they ship with the shipping label on the bottom for those of us that open packages on camera. Thank you. I love that. <laughs> All right. Oh, so they have a new... Um, they have a new style tray in their shop, which is what's in this package. Let's open our little card. Ooh, we have a different kitty. <laughs> Cute little stickers. What do we have here? Ooh, a sparkly heart. So we have a little rose squishy and a little heart minder. I wonder if they make these themselves or if they partner with another shop or something. Okay, so this this order, I have three, yes, I have three different trays and the first one is watermelon, oh my gosh, watermelon translucent red. This is in their new long boy size which just made me laugh because I've definitely referred to my cats as long boys before. Um, but look at that. So here is their largest size or previously their largest size. So quite a bit thinner, but definitely longer. That is so cool. I feel like this pen would actually go quite well with this color as well. Very neat. Um, I do see a little bit of that burning again on the filament. If you guys can see that there. I guess I shouldn't say burning because I'm not very familiar with 3D printing. That's just what it looks like to me. And then we have Marine Dream Seafoam. This is in the Fine Boy. Oh my gosh. Wow, they have found some absolutely gorgeous filaments. I can see why they sell out so quickly. Hopefully you can see all that glitter in there. Beautiful. And then the final one is just one of their regularly stocked colors. This is in purple. Uh, I think I was looking for a purple tray and I couldn't find one that I loved in my collection. So I decided to tack this on to my order. Um, I'm not always drawn to purple, but I find that I do a lot of kits that have purple. So I like to have the purple accessories. So this is just um, a color that I wanted in my collection. Okay, so that is cat proof trays. Now I did not order all of these at once. Um, like I said, some of these orders have been hanging out since December. Um, so, you know, I don't need to explain myself, but I just thought I would throw that out there. Okay, we are on to our last package, which is some pen mail, um, which I'm very excited about. It's been a while since I've received an order from this particular shop. So I am looking forward to it. Let me open it off camera. Okay, so these pens are from Handmade Diamond Painting Pens and more. They're also known as O'Brien Custom Turning. Ooh, I got another pen. Uh, this one says, a, a little card to say a big thank you. Thank you for being our valued customer. We're so grateful. Hope we meet your expectations. Please let us know if we can do anything for you. And then we have, I think this is a sticker. Yeah. 
uh, here is the Facebook group information and they also are listed on Etsy, like I said, as O'Brien Custom Turning. I have one of these pens that they've sent me before. I think the one I have is black. I wonder if this writes in black or if it writes in blue. Let's see. Oh, it writes in black. This is such a nice pen. I don't... <laughs> I am a pen snob. I'm very particular, but these pens are so nice. So I'm glad to have another one. I might take that one to work. Uh, I have two diamond painting pens. Now, O'Brien Custom Turning or Hammond Diamond Painting Pens and more, they offer a layaway option with pens and I had a couple that were left open and I was like get them done so you'll be seeing a few um orders from them coming in different various small shop halls and this is one of them these I both believe are both cocoon blanks and they're from their liquid art series oh my gosh look at that this one is in the beaver tail style which is my favorite from them how pretty this will be beautiful in the spring so it's like white into that really pretty teal and then down to kind of like a lavender pink purple i love that and the second one is their four bump and this one's kind of a little bit neon so we have like a neon green into yellow and a pink kind of reminds me of like highlighter colors oh i love that this will be really pretty in the summer so that is my small shop haul. I actually, I was like, oh, I'm just going to keep accumulating. I don't really have a lot to share. But now that I've shared it, I'm like, I probably could have filmed a video before this. But hopefully you guys don't mind the little bit of a longer video with lots to share from small shops. So I'll be sure to link all of these stores down below. Uh, some of them are, actually all of them are tried and true. It's my first time ordering from this particular store, but the rest that you saw here are shops that I have frequented over my diamond painting career, if you will. So thank you guys so much for hanging out. I will see you on Friday, which will be a post review and I will see you guys then. Bye.